Idi Amin's rule over Uganda during the 1970s was marked by a series of decrees that reflected his authoritarian grip on power and his often bizarre and arbitrary decisions. Among these decrees were those concerning matters as diverse as fashion, public health, law enforcement, and economic policy. Three particularly noteworthy decrees issued by Amin pertain to the wearing of wigs, miniskirts, then the control of venereal diseases. The decree on wigs, signed on February 1, 1974, stands out as an example of Amin's eccentricity and his tendency to blend personal whims with public policy. Amin cited pressure from Ugandan elders as the reason for the decree, but the real motivation seemed to stem from his belief that the wigs, often made from human hair sourced from Vietnam War victims, who were unhygienic and symbolized an unwanted foreign influence. The decree not only banned the wearing of wigs by Ugandan women but also highlighted Amin's broader nationalist agenda, portraying wigs as a symbol of Western cultural imposition. Similarly, Amin's decree on mini-dresses, issued on June 5, 1972, revealed his penchant for social engineering and moral policing. The decree prohibited the wearing of miniskirts, hot pants, and dresses with deep slits in public, with strict guidelines on acceptable skirt lengths. Amin's rationale for this decree was likely influenced by his conservative worldview and desire to impose his version of morality on Ugandan society. The case of Harriet Nankambi, arrested for violating the decree by wearing a skirt deemed too short, exemplifies the arbitrary enforcement of Amin's edicts. Another significant decree was Amin's response to the public health threat posed by venereal diseases. Signed on September 17, 1977, shortly after Amin's own hospitalization, this decree reflected concerns about the spread of sexually transmitted infections. It empowered medical officers to compel individuals suspected of having venereal diseases to undergo examinations and imposed penalties on those who knowingly spread such diseases. This decree underscored Amin's authoritarian approach to public health issues, prioritizing coercion over public education and preventive measures. Beyond these specific decrees, Amin's broader governance style was characterized by a mix of authoritarianism populism, and erratic decision-making. His regime employed decrees extensively to consolidate power, control dissent, and impose his vision of societal order. However, Amin's rule was also marked by brutality, corruption, and economic mismanagement, leading to widespread suffering and social upheaval in Uganda. In retrospect, Amin's decrees on wigs, the miniskirts, and venereal diseases encapsulate the idiosyncrasies and contradictions of his rule. While ostensibly aimed at addressing perceived social, cultural, and public health concerns, these decrees also reflected Amin's autocratic tendencies, personal biases, and penchant for grandiose gestures. Ultimately, they contributed to the atmosphere of fear. Uncertainty and repression that defined Amin's regime, leaving a lasting legacy of trauma and division in Uganda's history.